Adams 2024 Aikens Ford Raptor R. Bad boy, 720 horsepower. In the stock form, it is the truck of all trucks. But you know there's always room to take it to the next level. And he's a great guy and allowed us to do so. In this video, you're going to see, of course, the stock to custom transformation. And there's so much potential from a paint and aesthetic standpoint. And look, we went right to level kit, inch and a half in the front, inch in the rear on Vossens, 22s on 37s, but it still was missing just something. It was just something about it. Endo edition paint package. Here we go. And the final result. There's no need to mess around with this one. Adams 2024 Aikens Ford Raptor R. 720 horsepower. Carbonized gray. Bad boy. Lifted on 37s. Our Endo edition package. The carbonized gray presents itself in a totally different fashion. Looking amazing on our wheel and tire combo, custom paint package, and more. Great customers like Adam mean everything to us. The network and collaboration and being related to Willow Kelly as well, man. It's just this cool scene of seeing the network grow and expand. Being able to take care of customers' needs while being with custom trucks for the family. And this truck, don't get it twisted. We'll be able to do whatever he wants to do. Go to the ball tournaments, go off road if he so chooses to, or go get the groceries in the baddest daily driver on the road. Let's go, y'all. This is so incredible to me, and I can definitely tell from the prior year, we were at 700 horsepower. It it let me down because it didn't beat the TRX, but now at the 720 mark, just take a moment of silence real quick to appreciate the width that this bad boy presents. On Boston wheels, got the HFX ones. Oh, what a perfect color combo. You got the gray and the gloss, and you got this nice roto form inspired look that came from the street scene over to the off-road scene. We did the brake calipers code orange to match for that added detail that hits just right on 37, 12 and a half, 22, Nitto Ridge Grapplers, a hybrid tire that's gonna give them great overall longevity and ride quality and comfort on or off-road. <laughs> Number one tire, you know it's so legit, y'all. We run it all the time for great reasons. It's hard to get away from it, but 22 by 10, negative 18. Adam and I were on the fence so much. Chad took care of the build for him, but we were just torn between what offset. Fitting in the garage, overall height, et cetera, but I'm so glad. I was, I was hoping, crossing my fingers, he would come over to the wild side, and that negative 18 is, look at that. That is that Georgia Bulldog stance right there. You're not going to find that right there from a South Carolina Gamecock. I'm just here to tell you, here to let you know, Florida Gator, whatever, you will not find stance like this. The only way to get the swag is to roll in Georgia Bulldog fashion. We're at Aikens Ford and Wild Willys in Winder, Georgia, and we are the Raptor source, really for everything auto as well. Take notice of what we got going on. Yes, I'm talking loud, but I'm pumped up. Now, I will not stop. You better turn that volume down because we still going to rock this thing. I want to show you the money side shot right here. Perfect. Now, our sweet spot, it's a 37 package, the new dual live valve shocks in the rear. We are inch and a half lifted in the front from RPG and an inch in the rear as well. So aesthetically and balanced out, it's not too big of a truck. It drives and handles incredible. And I like just going up a little bit. We would have been able to roll this combo right here with no lift modification whatsoever. But just from my experience, you do an inch and a half in the front on this, it presents itself a little front side heavy. So this right here, money y'all look at like i got chills look look i literally have chills thinking about this and looking at this truck it is perfection y'all did the paint match fender flares the raptor r comes with black flares you got black grill but it's toned down it's like a matte finish and it's just like this looks so much more luxurious in primo now we got the new modular bumper up front to go along with it i love how the approach angle has been improved there but carbonized carbonized a gate black on the bump pads the front tow hooks came that way i'll show you out back how we tied it together skid plate a gate look y'all look at this big boy look at this big boy right here oh my gosh now inside the headlights there's no more chrome on the high beam and low beam like there was prior year but we did the r in code orange it should come that way from the factory and the side amber marker we took it away so complete blackout on the internals and just look just a subtle detail boom boom you got r r so subtle so discreet so legit though a gate black on this removed all the texture raptor 
are, baby. What you know about that? What you know about that? We know all about that. So anything I know, I told you, anything, including especially the Raptor, you got to let us mess with you. you got to let us roll and show you how we do it. There's so many ways we could have took this thing, but I think it turned out perfect. And if it turned out perfect for Adam, that's what matters the most. And I think it is so elegant. A gate black on the rear, Raptor R, carbonized on the third brake light. Didn't touch the tails, but we did do coat orange on the rears. That's perfect. Balances out front and rear. I, I'm, I'm an aesthetic guy. Big aesthetic guys, gotta balance out. Running boards, we took them away and opted for the amp research. Now on the inside too, they got little Easter eggs. You got V8, you got the Alcantara suede. It feels so good. The black with the coat on showing through. My goodness. Oh my gosh. For performance, like just being inside this thing, man. I'm telling you, truly special. We got wire with these rock lights. Gonna light the night up on this bad boy as well. Bed cover to go along with it in trifold fashion. Did a gate black on the connecting piece. Did the side here as well. A gate black. It looks great. Just all the details to make this truck pop. Look at how connecting piece and in the surround here. A gate black mirror piece as well and here's another bad boy rolling down oh sean's watching this video he's gonna check that out right there a one of one velocity special right there y'all another special truck and i'm so thankful that y'all watching this video it means everything to me it's my purpose to wake up every day and be pumped up to come here to work it's not hard to be pumped up and to want to be next level and always want to be trying to uh, one-up myself. I'm not competing with anybody else, y'all. It's all about what my potential is right here. Can I be better than? Can I wake up the next day and go harder? Can I, can I lift? Can I train? Can I study? Can I learn? Can I collaborate? Can I out-strategize? That's what it's all about for me. And I'm 39 years old. 10 years ago, I didn't have this. I would whoop the 29-year-old real deal with no problem. So I hope you all get better every day. It is my duty to get our trucks better every single day with our entire staff. Adam had to do the right thing right here and christen it with a Georgia tag to complete it. Headed to the Ripken experience now with the kiddos. We'll play some ball up in Pigeon Forge. But what a beautiful truck. So proud and thankful. AJ took care of him on the sales side. There goes Adam, y'all. A great guy. Look at this truck. Oh my gosh. Enjoy it, big dog. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. I hope you enjoyed seeing the before shots as well. It makes a huge difference seeing how it started. It was an incredible truck in the stock form as well, but it just needed a little bit of wild willies and real deal flavor to really elevate it. Now we have a one of one special truck that'll do anything you throw at it. Thanks so much for watching. You know we got you covered with positivity and everything auto. Peace out. Yes. Yes.